Alright, so today I'm going to be doing a review on a pair of shoes I've been wearing for the past year through all my travels and all my adventures. I absolutely love them. Um, they're light but still cushiony, extremely grippy. They're good for the trail as well as the city. You can wear them all day on cement and your feet don't hurt. They're also super packable and super light for getting through the airport or going on a backpacking trip. And I honestly really like the way they look as well. And that's going to be the Ultra Superior 4.5 running shoes. So I actually picked these up at REI used about a year ago. I wasn't super into running back then, but I've been running like about three miles every day for the past like two or three months. And before that, I was just using them as my everyday shoe around the city, the beach, and uh, trail hiking as well. I've come to believe that this is one of the best shoes in like all around performance. So. For me, on this channel, I like to find gear that I can use for everything. So if I'm going on a trip somewhere and I need to pack light, I can just get one item that I can use in pretty much every situation. And these shoes have not disappointed me at all for the past year. So also, I'm a huge fan of shoes that have a really wide toe box. Well, number one, um, I sweat a lot when I'm out and about, and I really don't like it when my feet sweat. So a lot of times with these shoes, I'll wear a really thin sock and it really allows your toes to splay all the way out inside your shoe or for example if you're sitting in an airplane seat for like 12 hours and you're just like so tired of sitting down and instead of having a shoe that like crams all your toes together that just adds to that stress having a wide toe box kind of enables you to feel like you're not wearing shoes at all so these are not like a super ultralight running shoe i believe i think the the sole of the shoe is what people from like the trail running community would consider like a mid-weight thickness. So it's not a super thick sole, it's f the same thickness all across the shoe, so it's not like thicker in the heel or less thin in the toe. The material they use for the bottom of the shoe is incredibly, incredibly grippy. So I've used these in rain, snow, pretty much every situation, and I have not had a problem. Obviously on ice is a different story. As far as waterproofness, these shoes are not waterproof at all. I have a different pair of shoes for that, which are my Solomon Quest 4 hiking boots that I also have a review on. But what I really like about these is how breathable they are. So not only can you like splay all your toes apart if your feet are getting too clammy and sweaty, but the whole top of the shoe is like, you can feel the wind go straight through into your shoe. It's not like a thick, um, it's not like a traditional tennis shoe where it's like foam or some kind of padding all around your foot. It's just this really thin um, kind of screen-like material on the top of your foot over where your toes are, so it allows for really good venting in your shoe when you're running, which I absolutely love. So I've probably put close to 200 miles on these shoes, maybe um, like 150 miles. With all the running I've been doing lately, I don't know, maybe more. I Probably, yeah, between 150 and 200 miles, and they're still going super strong. They still look great, they still feel great. One thing I really like about the the sole of the shoe is that it's super grippy, super soft, and really molds to your foot, but at the same time, after having them for a year and using them pretty much every single day, there's not a ton of wear on them. So really soft, really grippy, but they don't wear out like insanely fast, which is cool. Um, a little backstory about me as well. I used to do cross country in high school. And so I went through a bunch of pairs of running shoes doing that. And um, these are by far my favorite running shoes, specifically for trail. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure they are made for trail running. Yeah, if, if you're packing light and you need one pair of shoes to bring with you on a trip, I couldn't recommend these more. So another thing I'm gonna say is that the all the like technical aspects of the shoes I don't know too much about. I'll give you kind of like a whole overlook of the shoe, but yeah, this video is kind of just about everyday user. I'm not like a big trail runner or anything, so I don't know all the technical details about the shoe. I really just know that I've had it for a year and it's been super amazing. One other really important aspect about running shoes and another reason I really like that it has a super thin um, material on top of the shoe that aerates your foot is that if you're running through streams and through puddles, the shoe dries incredibly quickly. I've worn this shoe 
in saltwater conditions, through rivers, through all types of water where my foot's just completely soaked. And if I leave the shoe out in the sun with the sole out, they're dry in like between two and four hours usually. So that is super, super awesome. Again, it's just a really lightweight, great for travel shoe that still has enough cushion on cement, has really good grip for the trail, isn't gonna weigh down your backpack if you have to put them in there, and also isn't going to be hard to wash or take a long time to dry. So one more thing I'm gonna say is that they're really flexible and they could be fit in your bag super easily. And yeah, um, I've been using them for the past year. I've traveled to France, I've done a few plane flights, and I've been wearing this shoe as my primary shoe pretty much the whole time. So every day for a whole year, it might even be more than 200 miles. I really don't know. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next review.